Hello everyone, hope you are all well. In this video, we are going to tear down this brand new Xbox Series X. Now, let's start off with a bit of disclaimer. This is the first time I'm trying this. Um, there's no videos on YouTube currently to show you how to do this. So, uh, this is us together going through this and working out how to tear down this Xbox One X. Uh, today's date is November the 10th, 2020. So this is literally just arrived from the courier. So let's take a look and work out how we can tear this down. So obviously this is the front of the Xbox. If we flip it around, I've had a quick look. There looks to be a little screw cover here. It looks like some kind of warranty label. And then filling around here behind the label, there looks to feel, feels like a screw hole there. That's a little bit of tape I've just covered up this serial number with. So let's start off down here and see if we can find a screw. Now, I do want to be very careful doing this. So if I just gently lift up that cap, which is covering what I think is going to be a screw. Yep, yeah, and behind there, we've got a green screw. Just pull that off a little bit more. So you can see that. So there is a green screw just down there. Let's, let's stop the zooming in a bit, shall we? So there you go, green screw. Now this is a T9 screwdriver bit. And I must say that screw is very tight. So first green screw out. And then what I'm gonna do is just try and peel back some of this label to see if there's a screw behind there. So let's start in this corner here because the label's partly removed from there already. Just very carefully just pull that back and see what is behind here. There we go. Another screw just there. So let's pop that one out as well. Again, this is a T9 bit. Same size screw as the one from the bottom. I'm just gonna pop that back in place. For now, and then Let's try prying this case off and see how we get on. Starting on the bottom, feels like that's starting to come up. Let's work our way along. looks more secure so let's spin it round and start on this side now every so often the uh, pry tool drops a bit so you know there's not a tab there so let's carry on going all the way along There we go, it's the back case off. Now first look at the internals. So we have our uh, Blu-ray drive here. Obviously all of our connections as well here. Heat sink. Power supply must be down here somewhere. Right, let's continue. So there's a couple of screws up here. Let's try undoing those. One there. And then we've 
we've got this big one in the middle which is different size but there's a couple here as well there's one there so let's take those out let's take this one out as well not too sure what that is holding right now but let's take it out anyhow got cable to the fan that looks like this cable runs all the way down to here which is the board for the front USB port and the bind button then I've got this other ribbon cable don't know where that's going let's just disconnect the fan power if that pops and then There you go, there's the fan out. That's a monster of a fan. We'll look at that in a little bit more detail in a moment. Now let's have a look to see how we get the motherboard out. All right, it looks to be held in down here at the base. So, imagine this has to come off the, uh, the foot and then we can put it out okay I think there's a clip just inside All right, let's just zoom in a little bit so just inside here there looks to be like a little clip let's move that up and try it twisting a little bit there we go so the foot comes off and then we have a number of screws here to take out so one two three green screws two black screws let's take those out some support as we take out these other back screws now I imagine this can now come off which is covering the Blu-ray drive. Let's disconnect the Blu-ray drive. And it just slides out. It looks very similar to the Xbox One X drive. It's a Philips drive. Okay. And then let's see if this does this come out now. Ah, ribbon cables. Stupid. Right, so let's disconnect these ribbon cables. So let's zoom in a little bit so you can see that. So it connects here, ribbon cable all the way around to the USB board uh, and the bind button. So let's detach that. Now that looks to be like a clasp type connector. So you pull, open the little flap and then the ribbon cable should just pop away. Like so. Just close the clasp up for now, and then this one just push in the little connector, and this one should pop right off, like so. Okay, let's just peel that back a little bit, like 
like so. And then zoom in back out. We should, I think, be able to lift this out. So the actual ribbon cable is stuck to the outer, sh uh, outer casing. So let's just remove it completely from the heat sink. Like so. And there we go. So that cable, ah, connects the power button. So there, just down there is the power board. As you can see, and that ribbon cable connected to the power board. And as I say, the other ribbon cable connects to USB port at the front and the bind button. Right, let's have a look at what we've got here then. So it looks like we've got a belt that runs all the way around it. And this is a hefty beast, it really is. So if we spin it around, have a look. So Wi-Fi card there. Take this belt off. Move that out of the way. So, power supply unit on the top there. Obviously, the cables to for the, the optical drive. Like connector and then the monster of a heatsink. Okay, let's start taking this apart. So I'm going to start this side up because it's a bit more balanced this way. So let's try taking the power supply apart first of all. Just pop on our extension bit. screw by the looks of it here. Just take them all out. Essentially, I'm just going to undo the majority of the screws that I can see. Nice uh, cable management there. Let's take this Wi Fi card off. Just three screws holding that on. Very similar type of Wi Fi card on the Xbox X. Looks a little bit smaller. Feed those cables through. Put that shield to one side. We can see a big ribbon cable here, which looks like it connects the two motherboards together, or the two PCBs together. I presume this can then lift off. There's a little connector in there, a little pin we have to pull back to remove the power supply. Off that pops. Another power supply cable there. So that's interesting. So we have obviously power input and we've got two outputs. Very interesting. Let's have a look. Um, 
So model is 1920, outputs 12 volts, 5 amps, and 12 volts, 21.25 amps. That's power supply. More screws. And there looks to be another Wi-Fi card there. So I, I imagine that one of them's Bluetooth and the one I took off earlier is uh, Wi-Fi, or the other way around. Now this shell should pop off. That's disappointing, I thought there'd be more under like that. And then let's take this, what I presume to be a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi board. Or both. Let's pop that off. lift that and just pull that out of the way and that's free first of all let's undo this ribbon cable let's just quickly zoom into it so you can see that so that ribbon cable there so squeeze the sides and pull up Like so, that pops off, and this should come free. So Southbridge chip, just there. Not a great deal on this Southbridge board at all. Obviously, powers for the optical drive, and then we have our USB and network connectors. Let's have a look at that in more detail in a second. So let's spin this over. And let's get this mammoth heat sink off. Is there any other screws through there? No. But what this does do is now allows us to lift this off. Let's feed the ribbon cable through, like so. And there we have <clears throat> our thermal pads. I believe under there will be an X clamp by the looks of that. to reveal the X clamp. Okay. Let's pop that off. So, let's, come, let's just grab these screws so we don't lose them. So on the underside of the X clamp, Big bit of plastic on there. And you can kind of see the bend, which is a much bigger bend than anything I've seen before on the Xbox. Now we should be able to remove the heat sink. Break the seal of the thermal paste, and we are down to the main processor board. A nice a thick bit of aluminium on the back of that as well. Right, so let's take that off. Loads of thermal pads. So we'll look at the heat sink in a minute, but let's uh, focus in on this processor board. So here's the APU. So it's a custom Zen 2 and custom RDNA 2. Uh, on the X, it's uh, eight cores running at 3.8 gigahertz um, and running with uh, at 
0.15 teraflops um, for the GPU. So, you know, the processor we've all, all been waiting for. Memory on the outside, so 16 gig of GDDR6. So internal storage, I imagine that's under there. We'll take the RF gasket off in a second. Have a look. HDMI ports, let's have a look at the HDMI port. So it does look very similar to the HDMI port on an Xbox X, but it is different. So the actual legs are a little bit different. What else have we got around the board? It's just a mammoth board. Obviously expansion port, which is nice. It's nice they've got some thermal paste on that because I know there's concerns over the actual um, heat coming out of the uh, expansion port as well. Let's have a look under here, see what we can find. I imagine we are going to find internal storage a one terabyte internal storage Ooh, lots of thermal paste now that is interesting so it is removable that is a real good masterstroke by Microsoft making that removable really good and obviously we've got all of these power supplies along here Okay, that's the processor board. Let's have a quick look at the Southbridge board in a bit more detail. So we've got Southbridge chip is the custom Southbridge chip. It is the M113994 on there. And as I say, we've got our USB ports, network port, connector through to the other motherboard. What's nice to see is on this board, one of the things that failed a lot on the Xbox X and on the Xbox S's was the HDMI retimer chip. Now, it's obviously good that they haven't gone with the same chip. But just looking here, let's see if I can get it zoomed in enough. That I see just there looks to be some kind of retimer for the HDMI. Everything runs the HDMI. We've got yeah, four filters there as well, just there. And then I can't read it, I need to zoom in a bit more. I have to get that under the microscope and find out what chip that is, but some kind of retimer chip there. I wonder if that will fail as much as it did on the Xbox X. Right, let's have a look at this monster of a heatsink. So, real thick, lots of thermal pads. They've gone for standard thermal paste and on the PlayStation uh, five they've gone for liquid metal but on this it is standard thermal paste I mean it's going to be a decent quality thermal paste but nevertheless standard thermal paste let's have a quick look at the fans we didn't look at that much did we so it is a uh, Delta fan yep Delta Electronics it's a ASB 1412HJ and you know you won't be able to buy those yet but always good to know Real solid lump of aluminium there. Quite a power supply. And a Wi-Fi card, both of them. And not forgetting our optical drive. So there you have it, one dismantled Xbox Series X. 
So thanks very much for watching the video. Really appreciate your view. Please consider giving us a thumbs up. It does help us out very much. So as I say, video, just a bit of fun. Um, I learned a lot along the way. I haven't seen any other videos on YouTube yet. I'm sure there's some posted now already, but as of when I was uh, tearing down this uh, Series X, there was no videos on YouTube to show you how to do this. So it's good to learn along the way. This is a retail model, so it's not one of the pre-production models. So this is exactly what you will get in your Xbox X when you go to the stores to buy it. So as I say, thanks very much for watching. Please consider subscribing. Hope to see you all again soon. Take care, bye bye for now.